Histogram class intervals. We're going to start off in statistics and uh, the first thing to enter the RAND list function is we need to tap into the CAL box at the very bottom here and I'll bring up the keyboard because we want to go looking for the RAND list function. Now that lives in the catalog of functions so I've tapped on the down and into the catalog and across to the commands beginning with R so I tap on R and here we go here's RAND list uh, you can either double tap there or just tap on input and you'll see in the cal line here We've started the calculation now the parameters are the first number is how many random integers uh, The second is between from the lowest and the second to the highest So this should create a hundred random integers between 1 and 20 and because we're in the list one when we tap execute That's where they should show up. So we'll remove the keyboard and there they are now our next job is to create a histogram so we'll tap on to set graph just check the only one tapped here is stack graph one and tap into the setting and we want to draw a histogram so we'll select the histogram and the numbers are in list one and there's one of them all so that's all good tap set next job tap on the draw histogram icon here uh, and we'll just select the um, interval as shown here and straight away we get our histogram shown downstairs now if I tap on resize um, the next thing we can do is trace along the top by tapping XY and um, this is giving us a count so the frequency here is 11 in this first group but the groups because we chose the default as I tap across you'll notice the next group starts at 3.12 the next one at 5.24 so they're not really the best of groups so what we're going to do is tap up here on this kind of recycle icon underneath analysis when I tap here we get another chance to change our histogram settings so we'll start at one still but we'll go in steps of two instead so that they're nice integer steps so when I tap OK the graph is redrawn and when we start tracing along this time the first group is ones and twos if I tap across the next group is threes and fours and so on and you can see we haven't got that uniform distribution even though we have generated a hundred random numbers there and um, there we go to close the window at the end of it we can tap cross up here and um, maybe do it all over again